Today, we are escaping this, aren't we, Matt? Yes. Yeah, what, what more do you want? Let's just talk about the tank quickly before we... Yeah. Actually, well, not quickly. I mean, it's a built-in system, so it's yeah. actually quite cool. Yeah, so yeah, all the filtration's built into the back, so you've got like a false rear panel. Look at that. Which is quite cool. So there's a pump, I'm guessing. Yeah, pump at one end, turn. foams and medias at the other end, and it will just essentially, it works like a sump. So it'll go under, over, under, over, through all the different medias, past your heater, and then back into the pump and into the tank. And you've just got the grill that you can see up on the surface. So the nice thing is, is you do get a bit of surface skinning with that sort of oh, um, design, which is cool. Yeah. But yeah, very simple, very easy. But yeah, nice little tank. The lighting, now this tank, although it's pretty cool, isn't actually designed as a planter tank, I'm guessing. No, not majorly. Um, the lights are, you've got RGB chips in there and there's a lot of white, but they're probably not as punchy as you would want if you want to go full planted. If you want to go for like a full on, you know, like Dutch style. Yes. It's probably need to upgrade the light. But for what we're going to do, we're going to create an island. Well, I'll get onto this, but we're going to create an <laughs> island we might as well in the middle. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, which means that the uh, the bed's raised and the and the plants are actually closer to the light. So I think it, this light will be fine for what we want it for, and for all those amazing guppies. Yeah, it's going to look great. The loads of colour, farm. loads of activeness. Yeah, yes. it'll be amazing. So first thing I want to do, or oh, check audio. Yeah, we're good. That's the first thing we want to do. <laughs> so first thing I want to do is get a, a sort of hardscape down in this one, get some shape. We decided we're going to use Dragonstone, didn't we, Matt? Yeah, I think that'll look good. Yeah, I think Dragonstone it gives high, um, hiding spaces for the babies as well. Yes, yes, and it automatically scapes itself. Yeah. You just chuck it in. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't me. I saw that bucket oh, I don't know of Dragonstone that there, I don't know thinking that, that you put that there for no. us. No, I so didn't. So that's not our Dragonstone. No, we've got more Dragonstone over here. Oh, good. Yeah, let's go and get more Dragonstone. So are we thinking big bits? Uh, completely mixed because we just need options. We just need options. I need some big bits for the base just to give us the shape. Oh, we've got a good amount. Yeah, good we've got amount. loads. Yeah, a few buckets of that then. Yes, and by a few, we mean 10. <laughs> well, just have the whole tank full of it. You can't get any fish in there. It's Everyone's just... going to comment, Matt, so I'm going to need to as well. Fluffy Matt's hair? currently got his winter, winter hair up. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is his winter look to keep warm. It was only because I... <laughs> I washed it really quickly before I left the house this morning. So it, it air dried while I was uh, outside and it's not a good look. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Looks like I've got a perm. Because <laughs> I'm worth it. Yeah, as you can see, I, opposite, isn't I did the same <laughs> and um, I washed mine and it went all fluffy. So I just shaved it off. Yeah, no. My, my wife was causing problems this morning, so I had to help her. And then I, I didn't wash it until I left the house. And then no, no one cares about this. No, I know. No, we just talk about hair washing. It's what happened. I couldn't be any less interested. <laughs> So it looks like you've got a good selection there. Yep. Let's just start putting it in Central Island, like Half Moon Island, do you, know what I mean? do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you've got planting pocket in the back. Yeah. Yep, yep. Let's just get it in and then we slightly angle up. Yeah. Are we going to need some gravel though to like bed it in? Because I'm, if I try and stand that on there. No, but we could, You can. we can do gravel first. I just don't. didn't want a massive pile of gravel at the bottom of this one. All right. What That's I meant fun. was little pieces go in the arc and then the bigger pieces sit behind it and angle it up. All right, okay. Or we can just I've put got, some gravel. I've got skill, I've got confidence in you, it's fine. We just put some gravel in. You know what you're doing. I'll tell you what, we'll just go with what you said. Look at this white balance. Hang on, look, Matt is not this ginger, hang on. <laughs> okay, there we go, right, he's still ginger, but not as ginger now. It's more like a brownie oh. ginger. He's still got that Trump look going on. <laughs> Bearded Trump. I'm going to go shave this off in a minute. <laughs> Round two, I'm going to look like you. <laughs> Once you do shave it off, you don't go back. Every morning, so easy. I just wake up looking this good. <laughs> Not going to comment. Not going to say anything. I need, yeah, gravel. When I say gravel. Gravel or sand? I, I would like some black sand, please. So we've got... Well, we could use both. We've got gravel, gravel, and then sand. <laughs> it depends how fine you want it. And we've got this as well. That's too fine, I think. I quite like this. And we've got some over on, we've got phantom black as well over on the... Um... Phantom black? Yeah, it's a bit of a weird colour. It's like, yeah, black gravel. But yeah, yeah, we've got a load of different blacks, so we'll I think we'll try go and with, find a nice I think black we'll go sand with that. or gravel. And then there's some bigger pebbles I did see somewhere. 
Yes. We're coming well, like there. darker pebbles. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably some kicking about. We've always got stuff kicking about that we could use. Yeah, yes. all right, we'll start with that. Get a bag. Let's get a bag of that in so we can rest the... Uh, Dragonstone, Dragonstone on onto it. Nice. Oh, this is so much better. Why didn't I use this before? Well, this I, is, this I, is the colour. look better over here? It just looks... It well. can't change my hairstyle, but it can <laughs> change the colour. A bit marzipan-like. Hang, Hang on. Currently discussing what it smells like. It does smell a bit like marzipan. Let's have a sniff. Let the audience have a sniff. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's smells great. like marzipan. Right, oh, we go Middle Island, did you say? Just pour the lot in, and we can just we'll, we'll shake we can move it. it around. Oh, nice and clean. Not even a dusty, dusty one. This. Am I going all of it? Uh, That's about half the bag. Yeah, go all of it. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Well, we can scoop it back out, can't we? That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, just just use what we need. Okay. Right, so that now. Could, yeah, we don't need that much. <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> I know why it's orange here, Matt. Because of that light. That light is so... All right, they're just going to have to deal with it. It's yeah, just... I'm just ginger for today. I'm just... I just get annoyed with white balances. It doesn't it change your bother. hairstyle, it only it's changes no. mine, so it's OK. <laughs> My beard gets ginger, though, in, in these... <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> right, let's get some rocks in. You take a bucket, I take a bucket. What happened to all the customers? Okay. We had, like, they ten of them this morning, and then they have all gone. OK, so we've got that there, Matt. You know what I'm planning, don't you now? I think Can so. Can you see it? Have a look. So look, to get that one up, I need that one below it. Yeah. So I'm, change that one out. I'm kind of making a bowl. All of this should have been cleaned, but who can be bothered with that? <laughs> Thing is, this is all nutrients oh, and, and it's plants, black gravel. So. And it's black gravel. So we're going to be hoovering this for like... For days. Years to come. I'm liking that so far. That's looking cool. This is what I'm talking about. Dragonstone just scapes itself. Just chuck it in. I've all got little bits now, I haven't got any big bits. Big bit across the back. No, 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 I need planting area. <laughs> so hopefully everyone can see what we're going for, like an explosion out of that middle point. The reason I've chose that is because Dragonstone lends itself so well to it, doesn't it, Matt? Yeah. It already looks one. good and all we've done is, is pile it up. It's kind of contemporary. This big piece I'll put aside needs to come out for sure. Yeah, it's a bit, he's Don't got like a flat that. end as well. Doesn't look yeah. good. We need, we need to go and get a few more. Yeah. Um, but not too much more. Uh, so we do need one bit that's coming up, I think, more than the rest, so it doesn't look so flat and symmetrical. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you need to bring some up a we bit more. We need something here, I think, and then... Oh. Unless the only other thing is something... to lodge some little bits under these to raise all these up a bit. So Potentially. It's more of a staggered True. fan shape. But remember, we will have the, the wood on top as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just think it will... A couple of details of wood, that's all. Yeah, that's all you need, isn't it? Such a great shot of the hair, of the trump. <laughs> the only problem with this now it's is that no there's planting. no planting area. I think what we do is take that out, fill out that back area of some aqua soil. Let's use the Oase aqua soil because it is very good. So we no want choice. to put um, soil in the background now, in this whole section here, so we can plant into it. But if we do that, it's going to filter through some of these gaps. So how do we get around that, Matthew? Put filter floss in the gaps. Yes, because I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have known that. Would you not? No. Okay, no. cool. So you got some filter floss? Somewhere. You normally have these big packs of We it. do have big packs, but we, we use some for ourselves, so we'll have some somewhere. Oh, okay. I'll find some. All right, so very simple. Just take off bits of it. Tripod. And then ram it in the gaps. Don't worry too much if you can see it, because we'll be putting plants in these gaps anyway. Yeah, yeah. mooses and stuff. <laughs> So that looks good, look, just pulled out a bit of the gravel at the back so we can now pour the soil. Should we put some nutrients below the soil or do you reckon the soil is enough? Uh, what plants are we going for? St yeah. Stemage. Stemage. Yeah. Uh, I reckon just go for the soil. Soil will be fine, we don't yeah, need any Yeah, there's a lot of nutrients tabs. in this, to this be is fair. True. That's, I've used that stuff already in one of my tanks and it's doing very well. So yeah, it's good stuff. It was a soil. Scaper <laughs> soil. It doesn't leach ammonia or anything either, does it? No, no, not that we've found. We've tried it in a few different tanks now and it's not leached at all, so yeah, it's good. Fish straight in. Yeah. Yeah, done. Well, water first. Well, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they flap about a bit. Of yeah, place. oh, so fussy, aren't they? <laughs> no, we don't want that in there. No, that's not. <laughs> so there is the basic structure. 
looking pretty. That odd, that one looks a little bit odd, but when you balance it out with some wood on the other side, uh, I think the gravel looks good. You liking it so far? Yeah, I think it looks really smart. I like it, loads of sort of spaces for the babies to hide, which I think is going to be cool. And we, oh, hang on. Hang on. Just babies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can bring the foams up. So what we'll do is we'll get some foam. Yeah. And we'll come up higher. Ah, oh, okay. And do that, essentially. But yeah, we can do that later on. Okay, cool. That's no problem. <laughs> I we hadn't can, thought of that. Yeah, we, yeah, to be fair, it's a good shout. That's right, that's just where they go and live. That's, yeah, the, yeah. that's, that's their safe zone. Yeah, that's the nursery at the back <laughs> there. Yeah, it's fine. That would work, actually, it wouldn't would, it? It would, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, we need, so we need some wood now. I'm assuming you've got some wood. I've got lots. We've just had loads of deliveries in. So. Okay, we want something quite spindly, I think. Yeah. Not too much, just enough that we can put some moss on. Yep. And just add a little little bit more to the whole thing. A different tank. shape as well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh my word. Yeah. You weren't like you have got a lot of wood. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. So much innuendo in this, we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna <laughs> gloss over that. Uh, I think some some pieces like this, potentially. Oh yeah? I thought that was a small piece. <laughs> yeah, there are that that is a massive piece and I might have hidden that at the back for me. Um <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I've i Yeah. I think in that sort of colour. I could work, Matt. Yeah, some stuff. more because it's different tones, so there's some cool bits of that. This is too straight, really. Yeah, that's more of a sort of foresty vibe. You've got a couple. That's quite good. Yeah, that's a bit of Mapani, actually, so yeah. that, that might work. So the Mapani's number one choice for me so far. Yeah. I like these, but they're uh, too bit, big, way yeah, too big. a bit monstrous. We've got, obviously, our standard Corbo on there. Corbo, we've got normal drift. Yeah, and then honeycomb at that end. I think the honeycomb would look too much like the dragonstone. <laughs> yeah, it's too straight. And it's, it's got the same, uh, the same texture. No, I think we go for the, for the uh, Corbo. Yeah, Corbo? No, what was it called? Mapani. Mapani, that's it. <laughs> All these names, to me yes. it's just wood. Yeah, wood. <laughs> that pretty bit there. Okay, grab those curly bits. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we need about three or four. Yeah. And um, varying sizes, and we work it out when we're over there. Cool. So Matt's messing around with the Mapani wood. Yeah, Mapani, yeah. It's, it's, it looks cool. Oh. It looks quite like a reindeer there. Great. It looked like a reindeer. It looks great until I knocked everything over. They're quite chunky, aren't they? Yeah. But maybe that's cool. I, I think like they're it. a bit big, mate. I think they're a bit I big think for this tank. Chunky, yeah. If we had a bigger tank there with more space either side of the island, I yeah. think that'd be right. But we're going to have to pick more. I think the spider would have to be much more spindly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Yes, good shout. I was going to put that there as well, um, just so we can go. Like, do you like the sticks, Matt? I like them. I think they're good. Yeah. I think that really works. Yeah, I think it's nice. It, it looks a bit dodgy at the moment because there's that big hole behind it all, but that's where all the stems will be. Yeah. And now we've put this wood in, we can bring up the soil a little bit. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> we can bring up the soil a bit as well. Yeah, it'll cover um, those cut ends and then, yeah, it won't look as stark on that. No. Now, obviously, we don't want those tags on. Can we Can we take those off? Yeah, I think we'll be all right to take those <laughs> off, yeah. Matt's also just made a good point. This wood has never been in water, or at least for a very long time. Uh, that needs to be glued to the rocks, otherwise they're just going to float right up. Yeah. You can use super glue and tissue. That'll work well. Uh, we've got any tissue? Yeah, we can find some tissue. tissue. Yeah. We've got tissue. So Matthew's now spraying some water onto the glue and that makes it set, I wouldn't say like solid instantly, but it makes it like kind of stuck yeah, enough gets, that you can I keep working. I think it gives it a skin, doesn't it? When yeah. the water touches it, I think it almost like makes it go off in those points. Because so. we're using the gel. If you've got the non-gel, the water just instantly sets it. But because it's a gel, like obviously the inside of the blob doesn't get wet initially, but it still, it tacks it. Like that's tacky, yeah. tap test. Looking good. Yeah, uh, nice. I can put some more soil at the back now, that's all stuck down. Yep. So we brought the planting area up to the level we wanted, and then it was time to go and pick out our plants. Now fortunately we had a lot in at this moment, so there's lots and lots to pick from, loads of stems. Basically we wanted that background area, an explosion of stems. So we've got like Rotala Willichi, we've got Rotundifolia. There's loads and loads to choose from. If anything, we're gonna be over planting that section just because we want that explosion of color in that area. We then took off all the rock wall and separated all the plants out. It's so much easier when you do it like this and it makes it quicker for planting. You can just see what you've got and you can split them all up and mix them if you want to as well. We're kind of keeping them in each clump, mainly to save time, but also it just, it might look quite cool, little sections of color. It's up to you how you plant though. If you want to plant them like each stem individually and randomly, you can. So after we'd finished planting, we looked at it all and thought, you know what, we're missing something. We're missing 
stuff in the foreground, in amongst the rocks. So we went back to the plant vat and found some really nice Anubius Nana Petites, tiny leaf version. And we thought, you know what, let's just stick it to some rocks and the rocks can then be placed in the foreground randomly. So this is a really simple process. All you've got to do is take your Anubius and glue it directly to the rocks, a little bit of water and it sticks really easy. It doesn't harm the plant at all, just make sure you stick the rhizome and not the leaves. So initially we placed all the rocks in quite a really sort of neat fashion and it just looked too artificial to me. It was all straight lined. So then once we put a few back and mixed it up a little bit in sort of height and location, it looked way better. We then noticed there was a few gaps in the hardscape that could do a fill in. We'd run out of the Anubius Petite, but we st still had some like larger Anubius. Just to fill in those gaps would do the job nicely. Now in the filter chamber, I need to bring up the sponges. So I'm gonna pack in the bottom some filter floss. This will raise the level of the sponge, but also give us really, really good polishing capabilities later on when we add the water, because there will be a lot of misting to start with. Dragonstone creates quite a lot of dust. We've got a new substrate in there. Plus we're gonna be putting media in the back as well. So it'll all get a bit gunky and the polish will really help. We are filled up the reservoir at the back is also filled up. It will look a bit brighter than this because obviously we've got a bit of a murk going on at the moment. That will clear in no time. We'll get some AccuClear, API AccuClear in there. Yep. Little plug for my company, nice sponsors. Yep, nice. It's good <laughs> stuff, it works. It does, it works so good, doesn't it? Uh, bear in mind though, when you're using API AccuClear, you do need a fine filter floss that you can see there. There you go. That will pick up all the fine particles that clump together from the, the, the chemical. So all this dusting is just tiny particles. It clumps them together, it all goes through and gets locked there. If you don't have that, it'll just keep recirculating. Yeah. True? Yeah, yeah. It's, it just makes the particles larger, doesn't it? It glues them together. Yeah, so and you need something to grab them. One. Yeah, exactly. You still need a fine filter to grab it. Okay, you can switch on the, the uh, pump. pump. That's is it. Is that the, the word? Pump. Yeah, the pump. It? Where is it? It's down there. You know I struggle with words I sometimes. I know, it's a struggle, <laughs> isn't it? Hey. Oh, good flow. Yeah. Decent flow. Guppies like flow, so we're all good. Is she in later? Yeah, she's in. Good flow. <laughs> Once a video. Not you know. bad flow. <laughs> we don't like. Bad flow turns up late. She yeah, makes a mess. Bad flow. She's, it's like an evil twin. <laughs> good flow and Why bad flow. Why am I flow. down here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, well add some AccuClear, come back in about an hour after lunch, and this will be crystal clear. We are back <laughs> from lunch. Look at that. Look how clear it is. That is the power of AccuClear. It's good stuff, isn't it, Matt? Oh, it's like, amazing. You work in a shop. How good is API AccuClear? Oh, yeah, it works so, so well. There's, yeah, it's just quick acting. You know, if you do need those particles getting out your water, it's the way to go. And this is, oh, hang on. I've just ruined that shot. <laughs> there we go. So you can see there that brown tinge is because it's all getting caught. The clumps that is clumped together is getting caught in that foam and that's why you need the fine filter floss for it to work. So what does this mean? It means we are ready for the fit. Oh no, we've got some media to put in first. Oh, yeah. we? Yeah. This is currently uncycled, not ready for fish, just pure water. Uh, the water's not, off the system. The though, water's off the fair. system so it's yeah. not dechlorinated but we haven't got any beneficial it's, bacteria going on at all. It's not chlorinated. Not it's, it's not. De it is dechlorinated. Yeah. It, it's good water from the system. <laughs> okay, cool. So, but what we need to do is there's a chamber back here. Look, second chamber is it, Matt? Uh, yeah, it goes under over. So we could put it. In, to be fair, it won't matter. The first chamber it comes under. The second chamber it goes under as well. So yeah, either chamber will work absolutely fine. Stick into a what is it, a mesh bag, and yep. it's got the filter media in it. Yeah, we've got it out the filter, so it's ready to go. And then we can put some new stuff in with it as well, and that'll just build it all up. Oh, look at that. It's just been, how long has it been sat there for a while, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's been sat there since, yeah, before. So, yeah, that should be uh, all mature and ready to go. Brilliant. It's obviously had the filters running through it. So, yeah, we can pop that in and then fit. Stick it in. I'm going to put it in that one because that looks like a sizable chamber. Now, will you, will you add beneficial bacteria as well? I will do, yeah, just yeah. to be safe, to be honest. We'll add some bits and pieces in there. Uh, it's just, it's, yeah. For the amount it costs, it's easier to be safe. I know what you mean. And some people say that beneficial bacteria is utter bull. <laughs> what, yeah. What's your take on that as someone who works in a shop? It works. Like oh, That's what I say. Yeah, it, it's, they, they're not selling you something that's just a bottle full of water. It is bacteria. It is, some of them are, I always say it, some of them are the seeds of bacteria. Some of them are actual bacteria. It depends which one you buy. <laughs> um, seeds. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they do work. They do help. It's it's a good thing to have in there. I never, or well, I normally very rarely set up a tank without putting it in there. Same. And I never get issues. I never get, 
everyone loses fish, don't get me wrong, but I yeah. never get fish losses on new setups. No, that's it. You might, you know, the stress of moving and everything like that, you might lose the odd one. Obviously, they're the same as us, so you don't know what internal issues these fish might have. You don't know what stresses they might have. So, yeah, you might lose the odd one, but it's, yeah, you'd know it. If you've got a water quality issue, you're going to lose multiple fish in very quick succession. Which won't be... If you're adding beneficial bacteria, it's not that. Yeah. No, exactly. You're <laughs> so, keeping an eye on it, you're keeping the water change. You know, if you need to water change, you can do a little water change. Yeah, you're fine. And like I said to people, if you're setting up tanks, you should have a test kit. Yeah, absolutely. Even if it's a cheap strip one, it's still better than nothing, isn't oh, yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just to give you an idea of what's going on. Because the worst case is 7, 8 o'clock at night when all the fish shops are shut, you have an issue or your fish look a bit sort you of weird. You don't know why. You don't know why. Yeah, you've got to test it. You've got to be able no to check it. no way of knowing, is there? And what's, what's cheaper, losing £100 worth of fish or £10 worth of test kit? You know, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Because some people are like, I've never owned a test kit and my fish are fine. It's like, that's great if you're yeah. that pro. Yeah, you it, know? It, it's just, it's, sometimes it's luck, sometimes it does work. Yeah, exactly. There's so many variables. But yeah, a cheap <laughs> test kit's easy. But anyway, we... we <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> Enough waffling. Get, get, yeah, we need to put some fish in. I really want to see the fish. We've got such a good selection over there, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some cool guppies. Let's then. go look at the guppies. Let's go look. What right, so at? this is basically the whole guppies, well, live bear section, would you say? Some of them, yeah. So we keep our standard ones over here, and yeah. then we have a few more specialist ones over the other side of the oh shop. Oh my God, so, it's like candy shop. Yeah, so yeah. No, we've got sorry, some... sweet shop. I'll get in trouble. Yeah. Why are you using Americanisms? Guys, majority of my audience is American, so yeah. that's why I sometimes say dollars and yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's easier sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a couple of, well, three tanks of females, blues, reds, and standards. Um, so they should be cool. There's some nice cobra tails in there as well. Oh, we've got some lovely endlers up lovely here. Lovely endlers on the top row, so we can mix a few of them in, males and females mixed together, so that'll be good. <laughs> How many can we put in that tank is the big question. Um, I reckon it's a hard number, but I reckon with the filtration and everything, I reckon we can get a good sort of 40, 50 in there. Happily. 50 it is. Yeah, I think that'll be good. <laughs> you know when you tell me a number, I'm <laughs> always going <laughs> to go with the higher one. Obviously in here we can do lots of water changes. It's the same as everything. You, you know, can we keep, keep... There's so many people keeping an eye on everything like that. So This is it. Oh, so... oh, I've just spotted these ones. These ones are gorgeous. Yeah, I've got some nice males down in there with some real metallic bodies to yeah, them. Yeah, it's the metallicness, isn't it? There's some cobra tail males in here. There's only a few, but there's a nice few cobra tail males in there. Oh, 100. We definitely want these. We definitely want... Well, let's have a bit of all of them, I think. Yeah. Did um, you want to see a couple of the specialist ones as oh well? Oh, yes, you've got some snowflake, is it? Snow white, I think. Snow white, snow white, snow white guppies, that's it, yeah. Sorry. I don't know what snowflake is. Yeah. <laughs> they're really hard to pick up on camera because they're so bright. I have to turn the ISO right yeah, down. Yeah, but... they're like, I tried to get some photos so of them the a male. other week. Males and females, and the females even got the sort of metallic -y blue and whiteness. Yeah, like a blue whiteness. fork tail to them, too. They're really cool. Those are good. So they're snow white, and then we've got. Some tuxedos on the, uh, not tuxedos, sorry, some kahakus on the bottom. So they've got the Very red nice. nose. Very nice. I think we've got males and females. Yeah, we've got males and females of them. So they'll be cool. We've got some Japan Lyra tails. So they're the blue oh, fork yes. tails. Blue forks. But they're like a standard endler with blue. There's so many mixes now though, isn't oh, there? Yeah, you just crossbreed all the different colours and you end up with that. That might be all of them to be no, there's fair. So, might show me some more down here. Oh, Snow Whites, yeah, more Snow more Whites. More Snow Whites, and then these are the... These are the Purple Queens. Yeah. I like, I like the I look think at they're those. they're all males, maybe? Looks to be males. Purple Queens, but they're all kings, so that's fine. The purple Kings. <laughs> <laughs> but we some can of those always, though, they're cool. Yeah, they we can cool. always add a male or two in, because that will just give you a different coloration. I do love a black fish. Like, I love black mollies. They I stand out wicked. really nicely. Yeah, it's something about them. Yeah. But yeah, we've got, um, there's, I just noticed them as well, blue elephants, so. Oh yes. Yeah, they'll be cool. Again, another, I think it's just like a trio, uh, like a pair or a trio of each. Yeah, and I think get a real mix. I think that'll work, yeah. yeah. They're going to be cool. So what you got there, Matt? So I've got eight females and four males. Of what? Endless guppies. Okay, good. Oh, we're starting but, with endless. Yeah, we've got two of the tigery skin oh, yeah. chaps. Yeah. And then we've got two of the sort of more standard endler Okay, style. Let's, put, let's put those in first. Let's see what they're I, like. I'm thinking if we just do each group at a time, otherwise they're all going to get lost in a ball of colour. Yeah, it'll just be whoosh, like a <laughs> firework. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. Maybe that'd be cool. No, no, no. no we no. want to see the fish. We want to see the fish. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So Matt is ready. The first fish going in, the Endler group. Release the fish. I don't need to say it like that, but. Tra la 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 la. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at them. Even, well, that's, even that looks like a lot, but we're just getting started, yep. aren't we? How many was that then? 
Uh, that was eight and uh, 12. 12, Simple okay. Simple math escaping me there. Yeah, so quite a few females. Obviously, we've got to keep the ratios right, otherwise the females would get absolutely harassed. Yeah, yeah. And there's going to be a lot of babies. I'm down here again, look. Yeah, you like it down there, don't you, on the floor? <laughs> it's quite a low tank, this one, no, I must Know your place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what one's next? Should we go for the mix? Yeah, let's do... It's like a standard mix, like a non-specialist mix. Yeah, I've I think got to stand do up. Do a this few males and a few females of some standard. Are you getting higher now, are you? Yeah, look, make yeah. it seem like... <laughs> There we go. Get up. Don't you'll see my bold spot. Oh, no, not in this hair, you won't. You'll um, see mine. <laughs> Hang on. There's my bold. Can you see my bold spot? Just there at the back. Yeah. Yes, at the back. <laughs> okay, going in next is the mixed guppy. So they're non specialists, but they're still beautiful in their own way, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Good mix again. So we've gone for two to one, male to female. We're going to keep that going throughout all the group. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So even the female there, look, great colours. Yeah, picked out some nice females. Whoa. Look at the metallicness of that one. Yeah, he is cool. He's got like a slight blue to his back as well. Oh, hang on. I just spotted an even better. It's, this light is actually really good. It's got RGB um, LEDs as well as whites. And whenever you get RGB in the lighting, you find that any fish with colours can pop really, really well. So look at that. Yeah, that little tuxedo. That dorsal fin is like blazing white. He is cool. They look so good. Okay, so now we're on to the special. Sorry if we're hur hurrying along a bit, but we've got quite a few fish to put in. We're going to move into a some trios of a lot more specialist yep. sort of guppies, yeah? Yeah, we've got a few singular males that go in there because we've got only males on the purple queens, but yeah. They will breed with the females. Though, yeah, yeah, they, they'll so. all crossbreed with the different colours, so we could get some interesting babies out yeah, there, Yeah, definitely. Actually. And I've already, oh, I forgot to mention, I brought the foam oh, see, yeah. up higher and right up close to the sort of grating. So no babies will be able to get, but you can tell Cheryl's here, look. She's just <laughs> at the back, just chucking boxes around. <laughs> Classic Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem. Um, but yeah, so no babies are going to be able to get in the back section, although it wouldn't hurt if they did, would it? You could no, just no, not at all. And there's a guard. The pump at the far end has a guard on it anyway, so okay. they're not going to be able to get into the pump. So we just have to net them out the back end chamber every now and again. They're all, all up all the up left hand end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's add in the, uh, the final trios. So we've got our final batch, Matt. That, yeah. is, that is trios of rare, like, rare? Yeah, rarer. Yeah, more rare. Yeah, definitely more specialist. expensive because oh, they're yeah. specialist, of course. Yeah. and you sell them in trios, don't you? So that it's for people that are interested in breeding yeah. the more specialist breeds. Yeah, some people will breed them specifically. Some people just mix them into their groups, like we're doing here. It just really depends on what you That's like. That's what I would do. The nice thing is, there's Snow Whites, there's Blues, there's Purple Queens, there's Kahakus, there's literally. That's a good shot. Yeah, all sorts of different colorations, which is really cool. In we go. Look, all the other fish are waiting. They're like something's coming. In go the rare breeds. Breeds? Yeah, rare, rare breeds, Special rare types. types. <laughs> Look at that. Now, most of the time, guppies do like the top part of the water column. <laughs> yeah. But even more so when you first put them in. But they, they will be more... Look, there's some down the bottom there as well. Yeah, they'll settle. And obviously, they are all um, herbivores as well, so they'll find um, the algae and bits and pieces that are growing. They'll eat a bit of plant matter, so they'll soon get sort of scavenging in amongst the plants. So why have we gone for guppies then? Well, this tank is right at the front of the store. It's gonna be one of the first ones you see, along with the massive eight foot one. But guppies really do draw your eyes in, especially when you've got a nice big group of them, like in this tank. It's one of the most popular fish. It's one that a lot of people have as their first fish. And we set this whole tank up to be inspiration for something that everyone can have a go at. It's literally a pile of dragonstone, some wood or antlers stuck on top, a few plants, fill it up. That's, it's not complicated at all, is it? And the whole thing comes as one kit. It's actually like the ideal starter tank, I would say. Not too expensive, not too large, but not so small that you can have trouble with water parameters. You know, the smaller the tank, the actual harder it is to keep your water good. The bigger the tank with more plants, it kind of sort of just balances itself out. Now there is a lot of fish in a new tank really there, isn't there? But remember, we've got media that's been cycled, full of beneficial bacteria that's gone into the back. Plus remember, the guys in the shop know what they're doing. They'll do testing every day with this initial setup just to make sure the parameters are good. The tank is more than capable of the bar load of the guppies. In about a week's time or so, probably start getting some diatoms and some algae forming on some of the rocks and wood. At this point, it's time to put in a couple of bristlenose plecos, a few Amano shrimp. They'll get that all sorted in no time and the tank will just continue to grow and look awesome. And one of the best things about every single plant that we put in here is that it grows and it's easy to propagate. So moss, you can just trim it and re-stick it again. Anubius grows out from the rhizome, you can cut it in half, stick it to some more rock, move it about. Stems, cut them wherever, stick them down in the substrate or even in the gravel later on because that'll be full of waste from the uh, fish, adding nutrient value to it. 
they'll just keep going in there as well. Literally cannot lose with this tank. So that's that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed it because this has been one of those that, like, when you're building it, everything went right, and didn't it? Like, yeah, it just no all hiccups. slotted together. All the looks rocks great together. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, I, yeah. It, I, not really much more else to say. No, it looks good, and I'm, I can't wait to watch them all grow in. I'll and do an breathe. update. I will do an update. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Because once these stems all go everywhere. Wow, and we can even start moving some down the bottom to the sides as well. Yeah. Like, there's, there's quite a lot of stems in that one area. Yeah, so. they're going to grow up really well. So, yeah, you can poke them into the different gaps. So that'd be cool. Look, look at this guy. Yeah, he's just chilling out on his own. <laughs> anyway, yeah, catch you again.